Hi guys. So as promised, we had said that we were going to decorate our little traveler's wallets. So if you guys recall, we were making um, something just to kind of put our little goodies in that we've been making for our little traveler's um, series. And so we made this little uh, wallet that I'm calling it with the little window pocket and then a pocket here for our passport. And if you guys have not seen any of these three videos, because each one, the passport, the ID, and the wallet are three different videos. And so I can go ahead and link all of those down below so that you guys can get a little sneak peek of everything that's been going on in my channel. And so here is a little run through of the passport that we made along with the ID card in the back. And then we have a pocket here. Let me put this back. Then we have a pocket for our actual ID, which was really fun to make. These IDs have been so popular and I'm so excited that everybody's loving them. So there's that. And then we made another little pocket just to put extra little tickets and things in. And I just happened to have these uh, boarding pass tickets um ephemera pieces that i've just kind of collected and so that's that and i had said that you guys should stick around for today so that we can decorate them and so this is the one that we made and i wanted to get into decorating it just a little bit and so hopefully this won't take too long but if it does it's fine so I really wanted to focus on the back and I have done a couple already, but what we're gonna be using is this. I hauled this from Timu and it's a um, the suitcase luggage die cut set. And so I just kept it, I didn't tear it apart or anything. I just kept it the way it was and I've been using these. And this is what I want to use to uh, decorate the back. Main focus is the back. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So if you don't have this, no worries. All you need to do is just cut out little square or rectangle shapes. Uh, make two layers and then just, you know, cut out little handles or whatever. I mean, it's really not uh, super hard to make something that can mimic a suitcase. Here's one that I did. And I don't wanna decorate it too much. I just think just a little bit here and there would be fun. So here's this one. So there's that. And then I just added a Tim Holtz paper doll sitting on top of some suitcases with a couple tickets and then the little globe ephemera in the back and then I did this one this is the green one the other one was blue so this one I did again just using stickers that I already had and then I made the suitcases in the back and this time I piled up three of them and here I use little brads to look like the little buckles, which I thought is super cute. So let's go ahead and get started. So all we're doing is decorating, guys, just trying to give you uh, some examples of what we can do. So sit back, relax, and watch me get to it. I am going to distress a little bit, maybe with the... I have Vintage Photo out, and I also have my black soot so because this is already brown i think i am going to distress it in the black soot just on the outside around the corners just to kind of make it look a little bit more used and distressed hence the distress oxide <laughs> And so this is pretty much all we're going to do. We're just going to decorate it a little bit and maybe even, you know, finish 
this series if there's any uh, anything else that you guys want me to add to this series let me know i know someone had suggested um to do a playlist someone else had suggested that i do a traveler's notebook which i'm kind of already thinking about so that might be coming a little later i have a couple other projects that i want to do with you um for next week so that might the traveler's journal might come a little later but i i do kind of have a fun idea on what to do with that so we'll see but if there's anything else that you guys think that would be cute to add to this let me know because i know that the list is pretty endless okay so here it is i did distress a little bit i think it looks really good with the black soot in cutting up the the die cut of the suitcase or luggage die cut i did it in a bunch of colors so we have the navy we've got more of an olive green we've got like a, a greenish brown taupey color we have this bronzy nude kind of color we have red I did cut out some of our map, which I thought would be fun. And then here is more of a sage. Now these uh, neutral colors, not the blue, red, and the map paper. Those are just regular cardstock, but these are the uh, sticker paper that I had hauled. So I'll try to remember to add that to that add, add that video of my haul so that you guys can see what I did there. So let's do, um, should we do one with the paper doll? Let's try. Let's do one with the paper doll. I want to get brighter colors just because I want it to kind of stand out. So we can do this green. I kind of like doing the two-tone to where it doesn't look so matchy-matchy. So let's see, yeah. I think this would be cool. Okay, I am going to use, I think I'm going to stick with the black soot to distress it because I feel like it needs to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to just distress around it and then I might go in a little bit more to kind of ink up the edges a little bit and make it look a little tattered and worn, right? So just do that. Yeah, I like that. And then we'll do the same thing with the bottom piece. And then it has a lot of little pieces to it. So which is the handle, the little buckles, which is kind of cool. I did make one thing, let me show you real quick. I was just trying to test it out just to see and I made this and I put it just on a, I was just trying to figure out what I should put it on. I didn't want to put it on just a paper. So I put it on this envelope and I really like it. I really like the way it came out. But as you can see, I just did all, I just cut it out all in one, the cream color cardstock and just added a few little inking up a little bit here and there. But with this one we are going to make it look just a little bit more authentic so I can go ahead and because this is sticker paper we can just go ahead and put that right on so is this one I have my little trash can my desktop trash can I got it from Target I love it. <laughs> it's so good. Look, it's this little thing with the lid. Isn't that cute? So I just kind of have it right off to the side so I have everything kind of together. We can put that and then let's see. Should we do a red or blue better? I think we'll do blue because I don't want it to look like Christmas. So let's do this one. They do have different shapes. So this one you can tell is a little bit thicker than this one. 
and then you can tell the little cutout right there, right here, so you know what size piece. So these are the top pieces. So you know that this one goes with the thicker one and this one is for this one here. So we might do, let's see, I guess we could do the tone on tone, but because we're gonna ink them, you'll definitely be able to see the difference. I've been wanting to use the this luggage die cut for quite a while now, but I just hadn't found like I guess the right project to use it on because I said, you know, I could just make a video just of just that, but then I thought, no, I think it needs to be something specific. I'm trying to make this look because it's so dark. I'm trying to make it look a little bit more worn and it's not working. Let me try the vintage, the vintage photo. Yeah, I think the brown looks better on this one. Yep, you can see it a lot better because it's a lighter shade. Yeah. Now this one is not the sticker paper. This is just the regular cardstock that I got from Hobby Lobby when they had that clearance sale. Man, I stocked up on my on my paper packs. But this one I really like a lot, even though it has the white core. But this one is, um, I'm just off to the side over here if you can see. But this one is uh, like a textured solid. And I just really like the way that looks. Okay, we can go ahead and put that down. Then we'll add the buckles after. So let's put this here. Come on, gotta get this going. I know you're not stuck, I just, hmm, it's probably stuck. this it's still a little stuck darn it all right it'll work I need my tweezers for this put it like here and then we'll put this one right on top I love the layers of it that's so cool Okay, now I'm going to get, let's see, let's do the green. Should we do maybe this for the handle? Yeah, it stands out better against that part. Okay, now for this part, I brought this and it's called um, a premium wax metallic finish and this is in the rose gold and this one I bought at Michaels and so we are just going to I'll probably just do it with my finger it's a lot easier so it's very creamy a little hard I haven't wa I haven't actually used it in a while but let me get my little paper out over here. You can tell I've been working on a few of these. But look, all I'm going to do is rub this on. And then we have our handle. Isn't that cute? So let's take the sticker paper off of this. put this down okay and then we're going to get let's see do we want to make straps 
or should we just make the buckles? Uh, let's see. I think I'm gonna cut, I think I'm gonna cut some around the same size. I'm just gonna distress these a little bit because this is probably gonna be like the back, you know, the, the, what do you call it? Like the end part of the buckle. And then we'll get a smaller piece, put it right on top, and we'll add some of that metallic cream is what I like to call it. So let's put these so that they're the little, kind of cute already. <laughs> I love this, so fun. Okay, and then we're gonna get, yeah, this is a good size. You know what, let me, let me just go ahead and add my little, I brought a brush out, but it dries up so fast on the brush. And so I figure this might be easier to just add it to my finger. Okay, now here, I'm just going to cut if you hear thunder in the background it's raining really bad this morning so I'm trying to get it trying to figure out which way I want it I think I want it this long way okay and we'll get the sticker paper off and put the little buckle right on top. And then do the same with this one. I was really losing which one I was getting. And then we'll put that right here. The good thing with these is that it's not supposed to be super accurate. I just think that the whole look of it is super cute. So... We're gonna leave that one like that. This one, I want to make strips, but like the, the strap buckles. So we're gonna use two of these. I could use them in a different color. I'm trying to think, or should we leave it very monotone? Monochromatic, what do you call it? Might have to cut them. Okay, let's get a buckle. I think I'm going to leave it. This is going to be the bigger. Yeah. They have two different size handles. So I'm just going to get some cream on my finger. And then add that. To our handle. taken away the access from my finger so I don't get it all over the place add that here and then I want to add like the strap buckles which means let's see I'm gonna have to cut these down just a tiny bit See if that's enough. Looks good. Okay, then I gotta do the same with this one. Just a tad bit. Just trying to measure with my finger. And again, that looks that looks okay. All right, let's go ahead and just kind of ink these up because these pieces are so tiny your fingers are gonna get messy you should have seen my fingers last night when I was kind of testing 
how I'm gonna do this. I like to kind of do like a dry run just to see how it'll come out. And my fingers were so bad. <laughs> but this is so much fun. I wouldn't have had it any other way. Okay, we're gonna put those and I need little pieces and so I'm getting, I'm gonna get these. And I think I am going to put some of this the metallic cream on these because these are supposed to be like the buckles and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. I kind of got a couple ideas from Pinterest just to kind of see how I'm supposed to make these because it didn't come with pictures or anything so I was like how do I do this okay I'm gonna put these down let me get this off my finger and I'm gonna get my craft knife and all I'm gonna do is towards the top towards the top I'm just gonna make a small slit right across make sure you don't go from corner to corner, you're supposed to just do a little slit. Towards the top, and this is what we're going to do. I have the little slit there now, and I'm going to try to, like, kind of push it back and then push it forward so that the little hole is there. And we're going to push it. No, I did this wrong way. We're going to push it forward because we're gonna put this in this way so that it looks like it's actually buckled. Let me just do this with my finger. I don't know why I'm trying to do it with the... Just push it through, girl. There it goes. Cute, right? <laughs> I love it. Okay. I'm going to use my tweezers just to pull this forward, just to kind of open up that little slit that we did. Can you see what I'm doing? And then we're going to slide that right through. And we want to make sure that when we put this down, that the buckles are where they're supposed to be. So this one needs to be just a tiny bit higher. Come on. And then once I have it in, in place, see, I want it like that. So once I have it in place, I can go ahead and tap, tap, tap some glue all around. And then I can put it down. Is that the cutest thing ever? Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, let's see. Um, this one I think I want just a tiny bit higher. There, perfect. Okay, put glue. And putting it down. There. I have some um, the little dry pieces of my of my little shiny um, the metallic cream. Okay. All right. What do you think? Isn't that cute? Okay, now let's see how we're gonna decorate it now. Because we already have him there. Do we wanna put like another little world thing behind him? Because I feel like back in the day, you know, like the traveling salesman kind of thing. Let's see. Ah. Oh. 
Side note, I want to cover the buckle. Mm, that's the only thing. But I think he looks cute there. Let's do that one. I have these strippy stickers. Um, let's see. I think I have bigger tickets over here. Yeah. We can do one of these bigger ones. Oh, look. Uh, should we do like the green? Let's see. This is a little ticket book from Tim Holtz. I love this thing. So, should we do just the brown? Might be too big. I might have to cut it down. But yeah, I think the brown. Because the green, I don't want it to be too much green. So let's see. Oh, I have another strip here. I didn't take off. Come on. See why? Like if it's starting to flake a little bit. Okay, but let me see. Will this work or do I have to trim? I might have to trim the top. I'm going to get my long scissors so that it's easier for me to do a straighter cut with my long scissors. Okay, and then let's ink around again with the black soot. I think that would be cute. And then maybe behind our ticket, we can put one of those world map um, stickers. This one. We can kind of cut it down to size. But we can put that behind it too. I think that would be cute. Right? Yeah, I like that. Okay. Should we do that side or should we do this side? Because I kind of like the green there. Okay. Let's cut this down. These strips of um, stickers, I think I got them in Amazon. I'll see if I can find them again. It just came like with a pack of like three or four different types of, um, of strip stickers. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, let's put this down first. And put this about here. Okay, and then we can put this there. Yeah. Kind of had a feeling this was going to start getting clogged because I didn't put the topper on it. Let's see. <sighs> yep. it that's cute right let's see should we put something else there um oh i know i have these vintage labels that we got from where we get them from um where was it at timu duh put that put airmail I think I'm going to cut it down though because I don't like how big it is. So let's just cut this down. You 
guys know I can't talk when I'm fussy cutting. <laughs> I had somebody comment <laughs> it made me laugh so hard because she says that that her <laughs> she said that her sister uh, when it starts to get dark out <laughs> and I hope she's watching because she totally made my day <laughs> she says that when when it starts to get dark out and she's watching one of my videos that she has to turn the light on in order to hear me better <laughs> I thought that was so cute I, I absolutely loved it because you know what I'm the same way it's like when I'm driving and and something's happening and I want to park or something and I and I need concentration I turn off the radio why I don't know <laughs> it's just something it's just something we do I don't know but that made my day that was so funny I absolutely loved it so I thought I thought that was just something kind of fun to share but it just made me laugh because I'm the same way I have to turn off the radio so I could park. <laughs> Not that it helps because I still park cricket. <laughs> I still end up having to go in and out a few times before I feel confident with my parking. I'm so bad. So, so bad. So funny. Okay, we're going to put him down here. I am going to cover up one of my buckles, but it's okay. Wait, does he go down a little bit further? I'm trying to see how he's supposed to be sitting. <clears throat> okay. Now there's a lot of layers, so I got to kind of push him down a little bit and make sure that he's stuck to everything. Ah, cute. Very cute. All right, we're done with that side. I like it. Isn't that cute? Okay, so now let's just go ahead and do the front a little bit. I don't want to do too much. So let's see. I did, I did have, I do have more of, see, look, I'm going to show you my little um, strip See, these are all my strips that came in that set, which I love. And it came with um, rulers, tickets, um, this black and white set. But let me see. Ooh, this would be good. This one would be good. We're going to do this. Oh, maybe that. Yeah, that'll work out perfect there. So let's cut this down. Save that for later. And then it looks like this had a, a little hole punch. I don't know if my crocodile is small enough. Just to kind of get that white out of there. Come on. Let's see. It's going to be a tiny bit bigger, but that's okay. Yeah, we could go a little snazzy and put, I don't know if that's going to be too small, and put a brad just to kind of make it look cool. That might be fun, but I would have to take off the sticker back first. So let me ink around this first. Yeah. I like the black on it, the black set. So we'll ink around this first and then we'll go ahead and add that little brad into the hole. That'll be cute. Okay, so let's take off the sticker back. Come on. Oh, 
Come on. Really? You're going to do this to me now? There it goes. My goodness, that was really stuck. Okay, now before we do that, we're going to add our bread. And then try to push that down as hard as I can so that it's not too bulky. Okay. I want to put it right at the edge of this cover because I want it to um, show through. I'm pushing down that that brad so that it's it's nice and flat. Because look, see, that's gonna look really cool there. But I do want to put something else down here. Should I get another ticket? Is this one too big? I don't want to cover the whole thing. So let's get a smaller size one. Not those. Let me see. Yeah, one of these. Yeah, we can put one of these. I would have preferred it to be sideways, but that's okay. We could do this one. So the inside, I don't want to do too much. Uh, should we put it like this? And then put another one down here? We could put like something, like one of these. That's trash. Uh, fragile, handle with care. That might be cute. What if we, let's cut around it because I don't want too much of that white. I just like the red part. So again, you're not gonna hear me talk very much when I'm doing this. Okay. So let's just kind of roughen up this one a little bit because you know I don't like the white. Let me just add a little bit here. Yeah. Should we scrunch it a little bit? Just kind of make it look a little bit worn. That might be fun. Okay, let's put this down. Put this here. Okay. And then get this. These are stickers. And then put this down here. When you scrunch it and then you add a little bit more ink, you can see more of the wrinkles, the little folds. So I like that. Okay, that's all we're gonna do for that side. Okay, now let's go, cause look, see how cute that looks? I like that. Now let's do just a little bit here. Maybe we'll add stuff maybe on the top. Let's see, I have stamps. Let's kind of go through my stamps and see. This might be fun. Add this up there. Let's see what else do we have. I don't want anything glossy. These are glossy. Do I want glossy? Mm, I could cut around that white part, but let's keep going. Mm. I like what that says. 
the United States and this be our motto in God is our trust. I like that. Let me see. Um, we could go super or do London. No, I'm kind of digging this one. I kind of like the way that looks. It has like that older vintagey look. We can just add a little bit of grunge to this. Put this down. Maybe put like this little via airmail type thing on the bottom, right? That would be cute. Put this down. Just cutting that white border off. <clears throat> Put this down first, right? And then add that on the top. Yeah, I like that. Okay. I'll leave those out because we might put something on the top. Okay, so this is going to go about here. So let's see if I get it if I get it right. I think I said about here. And then this <clears throat> Excuse me. I got a a little something in my throat. It should have gone a little bit further down. Because I wanted it to be like that. Oh well. It's already down. I don't want to mess it up. So, let's go ahead. I can't see what I'm doing. Let's do it this way. I'm trying to get it to where you guys could see and I could see. Oops. Man, these stickers are sticky. Okay, perfect. Very cool. Now, just a couple in the inside, and then we should be good. Let me see, do I wanna put another stamp on the inside? I do have the other ones. That's pretty. Is that the same as the inside? Oh yeah, Papua New Guinea. Yeah, ooh, that could be kind of the theme, right? Put that on this side. I know, we'll use that. We could just put a bunch of stamps, you know what I mean? That would be cool too. Okay, let's put that. And then I have these that look like little envelopes envelopes or envelopes envelopes should we scrunch this one up too and then add the ink just make it look older so it's not so white Ooh, I actually really like that. Look, so we can put this here and then we can put this up here. That would be really cute. Let me just add a little bit of grunge to this. Put this down. I love that they're stickers. And then put this about here. Good. Ooh, that looks really cool. Okay, then here, what else should we put? Um, let me see. Because we could do the whole stamp thing. Or should we get another 
ticket. Let's see. Let's see what other type of ticket we have here. Um, I did want something a little bit bigger. What does this say? A bus, this is a bus ticket. Is that too big? Yeah, it's too big here. Nope, too big. So how about this? This one says Delhi, India. We just could just put that, maybe like that. Put another little brad, it has a hole for it. Right? Let's put a little brad. Actually, let's put one of these. These are the tiny, I think, I think these are the Tim Holtz ones, but these are the teeny tiny ones. So all we're gonna do is use my little pokey tool here, add a little hole, take this off first, and then add our brad. Trying not to rip anything. That'll be cute. This one is a little washy. And then add this. course this thing doesn't want to work with me again it's because this I actually printed it's a digital from Etsy and I printed it from um, on sticker paper and then I cut it out with my the what did, what did I call them I forget what I call them the thinning the thinning shears these things and now it's hard for me to <laughs> take the backing off. But I think we're done. Should we put like a little something here? Um, yes, I think it's in here. I think it's in my little snippets that we have little, what is it called? The little via airmail type thing. Yeah, here it is. So these are just like little pop-out things. And we can add that. There. Cute, right? I'm not even gonna ink it. It's not even a big deal. And put that right here. Cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. I think we're done. I think we're done. All right. Let's take a look. Okay. The front. Here's the back. I love it. And then we open. Final look. I think it's cute. So don't forget we have the brown. Here is the green. I want you guys to tell me which one's your favorite. Let's put it this way. The brown, the green, and then we have the blue. So which one? Brown, green, blue. I want to know which one's your favorite. I love to hear it. 
So that's it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little series that we did. Um, I had so much fun. I will be trying to figure out how to do um, a traveler's notebook and see how that comes out. I'm, I'm kind of excited to kind of give that a try, but that might be in the next maybe week or two before I get that out because I have a couple projects um, pending for next week. So uh, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. And uh, I have all my links down below, my Amazon storefront, my um, email if anybody wants to send me pictures of your creations. Um, or what else? I have my Etsy. Uh, thank you so much for all of those who have been favoriting my shop. So hopefully it will have something up there soon. And also a buy me a coffee if anybody is interested in helping my channel out financially. Uh, every little bit helps and I have that buy me a coffee link down below. So that's it guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time. Bye